Jason Gari here with the UFC's newest edition, Jonathan Webb. Jonathan, congratulations and thanks for joining us tonight. How are ya? I'm pretty good. Thank you for having me. So how did this whole UFC signing come about and where were you when you first heard the news? Uh, I was I was home. I just got home from uh, New Mexico. Okay. I was training out there with uh, Cowboy Cerrone. And uh, literally the day I got home, I got a phone call from my manager and found out that uh, Joe Silva called and, and we got the, the shot to fight in Australia. Yeah, that's exciting for you. I'm so happy. Congratulations. Um, so how is training camp coming along? Then you mentioned you were training with Cerrone, but now you're back at your other camp, right? Yep. I'm back. Uh, I, I live in New Jersey, but I train out of Philadelphia at Henzo Gracie Philly. So I'm back home uh, with my teammates getting ready for the fight. Now, I found it ironic. I was reviewing some videotape interviews this morning of you, and your first coach, Coach McPherson, actually predicted this. So have you spoken to him about this at all? He's, he doesn't seem probably he's going to be too shocked because in the video interview, he said that you would be in the UFC. Yeah, he, uh, he predicted it pretty well. You know, at first he said that I would win the Cage Fury uh, welterweight championship, and I did. And then, uh, and then he said, "I'll be right in the UFC after." So, I mean, we're we're right on schedule with him. So now he's got to make more predictions. Maybe get in the top fifteen one day, or you know, whatever the next thing is. Your fight with Kyle Noak on May 9th. Um, any extra pressure for you because you're fighting in his hometown? Um, you know what? I, at first, I was thinking, yeah, it's going to be a lot of pressure, but I, I think the pressure is more on, on the person that has to you know, fight in front of all their fans. Like, uh, all of my pro fights have been near my hometown, and uh, I sell, or I sold 300 tickets each fight. And, you know, it's a lot of pressure. You, it's, uh, you know, you don't want to lose in front of them. So, I mean, he's got a whole country behind him, so I, I, that is, that's a lot of pressure. So you don't feel like you'll have any kind of nerves, opening night jitters, if they, you know, start screaming his name out? Because, you know, well... I felt, kind of felt bad for when I saw Conor McGregor and Aldo. They were kind of disrespectful to him. I don't think the Australian fans are like that. But do you think you'll have any opening night jitters then? I mean, I, I've actually, I've seen, I've cornered uh, a couple UFC fights, and I've seen the UFC jitters firsthand. So, you know, I don't know if it's going to happen. You know, I, I pray that it doesn't, you know, and uh, I'm trying to get myself ready uh, so that it doesn't. But uh, you know, I, I feel I feel prepared. Uh, Cage Fury, who I fought for before, you know, they they're pretty uh, professionally ran. So you know, I feel like I already fought for the UFC eight times. So uh, I think I, I'll be fine. An eight fight win streak. Do you think that gives you an advantage going into this fight? Uh, you know, to be honest, every fight's its own fight. It doesn't matter what your record was before that. If you're coming off a win, coming off a loss. You know, you're going in the cage and fighting someone who, who's, you know, trying to hurt you. And, uh, you know, I, I, I really, I don't think that my record or his record is going to help either one of us. Okay. You have been quoted as saying, and I'm going to read this to you. This is a direct quote from you. A lot of people don't even believe I'm a fighter. I'm a small 170 pounder. So they look at me as someone who would be a little soft. I think it kind of surprises them when I grapple or we fight. That's when I show what I can do. What's your response to that quote that you yeah. that you made? You know, besides my cauliflower year, you know, I don't really look like like the, you know, like a normal fighter. Like I'm not, I don't have scars on my face and you know, big black eyes all the time and stuff like that. So, you know, a lot of people think that I'm, I'm not as strong as I am when I grab them. I'm not big. I'm I'm tiny 170 pounder you know but uh you know technique and just from doing it from for years i feel like i, I am strong once once we get in there and we're rolling with each other okay. you have a very strong grappling background do you think you will look to take to the fight the fight to the ground then yeah i mean i'm gonna prepare for everything um wherever the fight is i mean obviously the, the fight starts on its feet so that's where i'm good my focus is first you know uh I'm gonna try my best, you know, to, to stay in there and strike. When the takedown's there, of course, I'm gonna go for it. And uh, on, on the ground, I, I'm, I'm always trying to go for the finish. So uh, I don't like going to the judges. Uh, I hate judges, no offense to any of them. Okay. But, uh, you know, I just don't like that, the chances, and you never know what they're looking at. So I'm always trying to finish the fight no matter where it is. 
I think Dana White's going to make you one of his favorite fighters already because, you know, he always says, never leave it in the hands of the judges. So, yeah. And I think a lot of fans feel that way because sometimes, well, let's face it, it's, it must be hard to be a judge, but sometimes I think that sometimes they're, they're not always on track. Now, your fight at CFFC with Daniel Stitchin was really a turning point for you in your career. Can you tell our viewers why that was and take us through that fight? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a big fight. It was the first time I was fighting uh, a UFC vet and someone who's been to the big show already. And, uh, you know, at first, it's like, man, that guy was already there. Like, I'm, just, I'm still new at this, you know. And, uh, you know, beating him, and you know, I, 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 that was probably one of my most dominant fights I've ever had. And uh, it just told me, like, hey, I'm, I'm ready, and, and uh, you know, I'm on the same level as these guys. So, you know, it was, it was a mental thing for me. And uh, it just was such a big confidence booster. And now I feel like I can fight anybody in the UFC. What advice did Donald Cerrone give you? Because he's a UFC vet, and you mentioned you had recently trained with him. Yeah, he, he's, a, you know, he's just a crazy guy. You know, he, he's, a, <laughs> he's a nut. So, and he has that, you know, fight anyone, anywhere, anytime. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we really live. I mean, I'm fighting one of our teammates there. You know, Kyle Noki, I trained, I lived with him for a month, and, uh, you know, we train together three times a day, every day, you know, right. and we just both have that mentality, it's, you know, it's just business, we're, we're, we're trying to, you know, advance our careers, we're trying to make s some money, and uh, I'm pretty sure both of us are going to be going for that 50 grand uh, performance of the night bonus, so we're, we're going to have some fun. I'm sure the fans have a lot of uh, excitement to look forward to when it comes to both of you fighters fighting on that card. How did you get started in MMA? Uh, and I, I wrestled uh, my whole life. And, um, you know, my senior year in high school, I started doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu with Brian McPherson. And, um, you know, I went to my freshman year in college, I, I wrestled, but I started to kind of get tired of wrestling and I started focusing on, on Jiu-Jitsu. And I was competing at, at the Pan American Championships and, you know, just a bunch of, you know, big jiu-jitsu tournaments and I, and I was doing well. And uh, I, met, I met someone who owned an amateur fight league and he was like, anytime you want to fight, you know, just here, here's my number. And uh, when I quit the wrestling team uh, my <laughs> freshman year, like, I, I emailed him and was like, hey, like, uh, I'm thinking about fighting. And he was like, hey, I have a fight in like two weeks. You want to you fight? I've never thrown a punch in my life. I didn't get in fights that much as a kid and stuff. And uh, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to knock it off my bucket list. And, and I did. I went in. I wrestled the guy. I had no idea what I was doing. And, and I won. And I just got addicted to it from there. And, and uh, you know, look where I am now. <laughs> and the rest, they say, is history. Yeah. <laughs> what do you like to do in your free time? Uh, free time, I love, you know, just spending time with my family and my girlfriend. Um, you know, I, I, I train and I, and I chill. That's really my life, you know, so. Um, yeah, it's all encompassing to be, to be a UFC fighter or any fighter, in fact. I'm not sure if all our viewers realize that most of you guys train twice a day, very, you know, three or four hours in the morning and then, you know, another three or four hours at night and the weekends and then the weight cut. So yeah. not a lot of free time. No. Now I gotta ask you, what's your secret talent? Well, I'm I'm a pretty good uh, shower singer. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I like I like to sing, but I'm not good at it. But <laughs> I just like to do it anyway. But, uh, so you're not it, gonna give me a sample now? Then you only have to do it in the no, shower. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna be put on the spot, but uh, okay. randomly, I, I just you know my teammates tell you I'll start singing at practice and. Whatever, but I'm I'm terrible. I mean, I'm, I'm <laughs> one of the worst singers out there. But I just I, I love singing all the time. Good for you. I like that. That might be one of my best and all-time favorite answers so far. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to add today? No, I mean, uh, I I'm just so uh, like thrilled and happy that I'm getting this opportunity, and uh, I have such a, a great support system, and uh, you know. We have a lot of guys uh, coming up on my team. I'm Paul Felder's ready in the UFC. We have a bunch of other guys that you're going to see really soon. Our team's going to blow up, and uh, this is just the beginning. 
please tell our viewers how they can follow you on the social media outlets. <clears throat> yeah, uh, all social media, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. You can find me at Jonathan Webb, which is J-O-N-A-V-I-N-W-E-B-B. -B. Okay, something tells me you're going to have a lot of new followers. Jonathan uh, Webb, thank you so much for your time, and I wish you good luck in your UFC debut. We'll be looking forward to it. Hope to uh, speak with you soon. Yeah, and, and uh, hopefully we'll be on soon.